So I've seen this debate reignite on Twitter, pun intended recently, about the FromSoft games. That is, the difficulty, the accessibility, gatekeeping, should there be an easy mode, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and there's it's a debate worth having, because these games are a masterpiece. Uh, granted, it's often a masterpiece of jank, glitches, questionable gameplay decisions, and low budgets, but it also has some of the best gameplay in terms of like sword and sorcery action. It's very fluid. Depending on the game, it can be very fair, but also very difficult. Uh, there's few games I can think of that offer you as much variety of gameplay that you can, there's so many different builds you can do, so many ways you can go about it. The environments are beautiful. The lore is fascinating. They are masterpieces, even if they are frequently masterpieces of jank. And so the question always is, are these games accessible? Should they be accessible? That is, if you're not a hardcore expert, if you don't have really high APM, if you're not like a, a dex god who can use a katana at like soul level one with no armor on, should you even be allowed to play these games? And I've shit on the FromSoft fan base a lot over the years, and I will continue to shit on them because they are exceedingly elitist. And I think to kind of maybe present a more balanced view of the whole thing, on one side you have people who say there should just be a, a flat-out difficulty setting in these games uh, that changes the amount of damage enemies deal, the amount of damage you deal, um, and a lot of other aspects of the game. And then on the other side, there's the people who think these games aren't hard enough. And these will be the people who think that, like, fixing the hitboxes and the sequels was a mistake, that you should not you should take summons out of the game, people shouldn't even be allowed to level up. I don't think this is a straw man, because if you look at a lot of the, the people who comment on this, like if you go on any discussion board... You'll often see a plurality of FromSoft fans who will be complaining these games aren't hard enough and they're too noob-friendly. And, and just various things to kind of show off their um, their edicts. Now, the thing about the difficulty in the FromSoft games is, generally speaking, and I don't know if this is true for Bloodborne, one of the things that does kind of make them accessible is there's normally a way around stuff. You can normally change your build up. Um, you can go grind. You can upgrade your equipment. A lot, most bosses will have some sort of weakness to a specific damage type. They'll have a pattern that's relatively easy to memorize. There's always ways to get around the difficulty in these games. And as someone who sucks at these games, well, or I guess maybe I don't suck that much anymore, but. The first time playing this game, I was horrible at it. Dark Souls 1, that was also, I think, back in the battle days where I didn't have a great computer and the jankiness was just off the charts in terms of how bad the frame rate was and how unresponsive the controls were. But even at that point, I was I decided I'm going to play a tank build, I'm going to get a great shield, I'm going to get a pole arm, and I'm just going to play very conservatively and very cautiously and I managed to get through the game. It took me a while, but eventually I would memorize boss movements and that sort of thing. So do these games need a difficulty setting? It's, it's an interesting question. I'm not going to say definitively yes or definitively no. I think the issue is, and why a lot of people want one, is because the community is just really, and I know people will dislike me using this term, toxic and just hostile to any new players. Like, I find if someone is struggling against the boss and, like, how do I beat this boss? What do I do? The common response is just to scream, get good, autistically at them. It's not to say, oh, this boss has a weakness to lightning or um, once he does this particular attack, it's easy or hide behind this, this outcropping or something. It's just to scream, get good at people. And it's to tell them, like, you have to play the game in a very specific way, despite the fact that these games are very clearly designed for flexible play styles in order for it to be legitimate. If you don't beat the game as a dex build with no shield at like soul level one with no armor, then you didn't legitimately beat the game. 
using summons is not legitimately beating the game. Exploiting the bad AI is not legitimately beating the game. And it's just telling new players, like, all this stuff to try to make the game exponentially harder than it really needs to. Like, I think what actually makes these harder than they should be is the idea that, like, the fan base tells people that, like I said, you, you can't level up, you can't upgrade your weaponry, you can't play in kind of a more conservative defensive style. Uh, you can't even play a caster. You have to do this very specific thing. Also, you aren't allowed to use a guide. And I never really got this one because these games are clear as mud. I honestly don't know how anyone would have figured out the Covenant of Artorias to, to beat the, the fight, to even fight the Four Kings without reading a guide to tell you. A lot of things are just not in, various obvi in very obvious places. And even after having played a lot of these games like three or four times, I'm still am discovering new stuff that I've missed. I think ultimately the attitude that needs to be taken is if you make it to the end of the game, if you make it to the, the credits, then you legitimately beat the game. It doesn't matter if you summoned, it doesn't matter if you grinded, it doesn't matter if you used an OP weapon. You you legitimately beat the game. And I think that is the real gatekeeping. Not necessarily that there needs to be an easy mode, but just an acceptance that people play this game in their own way and that there are ways for people of less talent than others to play this. Like, I found Elden Ring pretty hard. Largely just because of how much health enemies had. So I did a, um, I did my cheese build, which was the uh, rapier that does Scarlet Rod infused with poison. And then a grave scythe that was infused with frost. So I just had a status effect build. And I used that to great effect to just melt a lot of the bosses in the game. And a lot of people would say that's cheating, is using um, stuff that's available within the game that you're encouraged to use is a form of cheating. Using Ashes of War or Spirit Ashes is cheating. Summoning people to help you is cheating. Even though these are all, like, core gameplay elements, I, I think that's more the issue. I think if you, like... To new players, you, you gave them some basic advice, and I've had friends who started these, and I've given them a lot of advice. I'm like, look, these games are hard. It's going to take you a while to figure stuff out. Just use a shield. Get a shield with 100% physical damage reduction, and that'll help you. That'll make it immensely easier when you're fighting enemies for a lot of the game. Because there are very generous things in these games. Like, decent shields do block 100% of physical damage, and that includes damage from, like, giant bosses, unless they use one of the moves that's unblockable and knocks you over. But when in doubt, using just a, a shield and a spear or some sort of polearm works perfectly well. And if you're a noob, it can be good. Same thing with casting. Um, a lot of bosses are kind of trivialized because the AI, at least in the, the earlier games, isn't really built around fighting long-range enemies. So you can just kite difficult enemies. Also, just like exploiting the fact that the bosses have bad AI or glitches in the game. My understanding is Flame Lurker is the hardest boss in Demon Souls. When I fought him as a caster, he got stuck in like a wall. Um, and so I went to the other side. He got stuck in like this giant skull thing. So I went to the other side of the skull and I just shot him as he was clipping through the wall. And I'm sure a lot of people would say that that's illegitimate, but it's in the game. They chose to not patch this stuff and to not fix it. So I don't get why it's it's cheating to do that. Once again, people will say it's cheating if you like get the Black Knight Halberd or some other really good weapon from a drop early in the game. Like once again, I don't think these games are supposed to be that balanced. You're supposed to have stuff like that that you can use to cheese it. So I think that's really like where the discussion on difficulty needs to be is kind of how do you onboard new players? How do you give them advice? Don't shame them for, for wanting to play the game their own way. Don't shame them if they want to do a dex build or they want to grind or they or, or something like that. Because I just it's I just think it's kind of a dick move to do. And I think it makes it unnecessarily complicated.
There's very much a similar attitude among a lot of the StarCraft community where the the attitude is if somebody's having trouble with something, they'll just yell macro better. And it's very seldom explained what that even means. It'll just be like, look, guys, I'm losing to uh, proxy racks. And they'll be like, just macro better. And it's like, what does that mean? And they're like, just build more units. And like, just build more zealots. And like, how do zealots help out against void rays? It's like, just build more of them. Just build more units that can't hit air. And that'll help somehow. I mean, I guess you can attack them directly with it. But like, they just, people won't explain things. Um, they won't say, like, what macroing better even means. They'll just say build more units. Um, and in a lot of cases, like, if they actually explain why that works or how you incorporate that into an overall game plan and stuff like that, that would be very helpful. But there's a general reluctance to kind of do that sort of thing because it, it is very much gatekeeping and it is very much not wanting new players to come in and wanting to make yourself feel special. But I guess to get back to the original question, do these games need a difficulty mode? I mean, you can use Wii Mod or some sort of um, mod to make these games easier if you really want to. If you just enjoy these games as being like for their art style or their gameplay or whatever, I mean, go ahead. I don't think there necessarily needs to be an easy mode. I think just accepting that people play the game differently and offering them in-game solutions to make it easier be that summoning or using a particular weapon or exploiting a boss's damage or AI is enough to get through them. Also, like, the idea that you have to speed run it, that you can't go slow and deliberate and that kind of thing, I think does really hurt it. And I think there is an opportunity to get more people to play these games and enjoy these games and to kind of contribute to the community without having to completely water everything down and just make it another generic um, action RPG game. But yeah, I mean, these games are designed so people can do whatever they want in them, that there's lots of different ways to play the game, that there's not a legitimate and illegitimate play style. If you want to make the game harder for yourself, that's fine. Just don't pretend that you have, like, a huge dick and that everybody else is, like, beneath you because you chose to do a dex run at soul level one it's just like that is actual gatekeeping that is actually being an elitist prick and that's actually being a dick so this was kind of my attempt to take a reasonable look at the whole difficulty question to not just necessarily say like oh we have to put an easy mode in we have to make these games um just so that anybody can beat them. They are hard. Um, there is, and also, like, you have to acknowledge that there are parts of these games that are unfair. Um, or not necessarily unfair, but poorly designed. And I think you can say that without saying there necessarily needs to be an easy mode. Like, they fucked up with Poison DS3. Let's not pretend that they didn't. When they were called on it, they said Poise is working as intended. But they clearly took that out. I think it's also you're free to complain about some gameplay decisions they made that made certain builds unreasonable. Like the armor nerfs from D post DS1, I think, are a legitimate complaint. And I've made that complaint many times. Like armor was nerfed in DS2 and then it was just nerfed into oblivion in DS3. And I don't like that they removed gameplay styles in favor of just trying to push everyone into a dex build. And once again, it seems like they acknowledge that because an Elden Ring tanking works again. Um, so it's like FromSoft is a deeply flawed company who rushes out products that are really janky. Like I remember when I was complaining about some stuff in Elden Ring and people were shitting on me for it. FromSoft went in and they changed a lot of that stuff in patches. Like, they optimized it a lot, they increased drop rates, they did a lot of stuff like that. Like, there are clear balance problems in these games, and some of that is there to exploit it. But FromSoft is kind of like Paradox in that they, like, there's some aspects of them that are really competent, and some aspects of them that are completely and utterly horrendous. And I think you can say that, and I think you can complain about stuff like bonfire placement without it reflecting on you as just being whiny and making excuses for why you suck at the game.
So that's my attempt at kind of having a fair and balanced discussion of the um, the difficulty in the games. Does it need a difficulty mode? I don't really think so. I think you just have to give advice to new players and tell them that, look, it's okay if you want to cheese the game, if you want to take advantage of the AI, that kind of thing. And acknowledging sometimes they did do unfair shit, like with ganking and Scholar of the First Sin, or or dumb bosses like Sin the Slumbering Dragon who just runs away from you like a bitch. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's my opinion on it. Just say whatever you want in the comments if you want to call me an asshole or call me a say get good. But I'm attempting to just kind of have a reasonable